Today we're going to talk about setting up the scanner in Read Iris 15. To do that, click the down arrow under the Scan button and choose Select Source. This presents you with all the devices that are hooked up to your computer, which could be scanners or digital cameras. Here we have a Canon D1500, which is connected via wireless. It's not indicated there, but typically you would see the designation NET, N-E-T, or LAN, L-A-N. The rest of these items are connected via USB cable. Uh, normally you would see the word twain after those. This WIA entry is loaded by Windows and stands for Windows Image Acquisition. Typically you don't want to use that with Read Iris or other software. So we'll select the Canon and then go back up to Scan and choose Settings. Here you can set your format, color, resolution, 300 is optimal. The ADF button uh, stands for Automatic Document Feeder. Uh, when the Scan Another Page is selected, the ADF is grayed out because that is to be used with a flatbed scanner to set a time interval to scan. So we'll uncheck that. That makes the ADF available for selection and we'll use that. Then in the scanner model, these are profiles to use with that driver that we just selected. And we don't attempt to have a profile for every scanner. Um, so if you don't see yours listed, you can use the universal twain other models. Or for some scanner models like Brothers that require the use of an interface, uh, twain other models use their interface. The difference between them is what, that when you click on scan, a separate window will open where you set your scan settings. So we're going to use twain other models. It's loading the driver. We click OK and click on scan. And in a moment, the image will be brought into the software where we can start to work on it. Wireless will always be slower than USB, but it is convenient. And that's all there is to it.